Hey everybody, this is Darren from Lily's Landing Fly Shop, and we're going to tie a tungsten midge for you today. Alright, so the first step tying the midge is getting your bead on the hook. Um, I've already done that because it can be kind of difficult because it's so small. So I'm using a number 16 Daiichi 1130 hook and a 564 black nickel tungsten bead. Next up would be to start your thread. Uh, start that right behind the bead and run it about half way back from the length of my body that I want it to be, which is about right there. Uh, then I'm going to tie in my wire, which is black brassy or BR size wire. Um, I do stick it underneath the, the bead there a little bit to kind of help hold it in place. And then I wrap my thread back to the front, making sure my wraps are right next to each other. Once I get that down, I wrap my thread back towards the back of the hook, towards the bend. I usually stop about where the barb is, like straight above where the barb is. That's about how long I want my body for this midge to be. That right there. Then I'll wrap my thread back forward, making sure my wraps are right next to each other. Take that all the way up to the bead. Then I'll wrap my wire that's going to be the rib. As you're wrapping this forward, you want your wraps to be evenly spaced all the way up to the bead. It's going to be my last wrap right there, and then I'm going to tie it off underneath the hook. Once I have that tied down, um, instead of cutting the wire, I just wiggle it back and forth, bend it back and forth, and it will pop off there. That way it's um, nice and close to the hook instead of leaving a little sticker. Then I'll whip finish. Cut my thread off. Oh, that's the rusty midge. Uh, we will have a kit on the website um, with all the components to tie this available soon.